Here you will only see here on 39 News. A heavy metal music icon is in Houston dealing with some serious health issues. The 80s rocker spoke to 39 Steve Simon earlier today. Steve joins us now with a more. Steve? Well, Mia, Ronnie James Dio has been quiet since he was diagnosed late last year. He's 67 years old with a very tough guy persona on stage many of you may know about. That toughness is coming in handy now. Best people, I mean, the staff are just so wonderful. They just said... Uh, the best people, on it, as you can see. This is the Ronnie James Dio few people have ever seen. He's a bit soft-spoken. Following this one is one definite more chemo procedure. He's relaxed. I just want to get better. I just want to be cured, you know. Because if you've ever seen or heard Dio over the past 50 years or so, this is the sound you remember. He's been the front man in groups like Black Sabbath. Currently, he's the lead vocalist for his group, Dio, an iconic sound in heavy metal, who's made the devil's horn hand gesture part of the culture. Today, those hands get support from his wife, Wendy, and nurses and doctors. Dio has stomach cancer. You know, I've been poked and prodded in the holes I knew I didn't know I had before, and they probably made a few new ones that I don't even know where they are. I'm lucky that I am a very, you know, hard person and, and strong within my beliefs, so that this, this hasn't really been a problem for me. You know, I just look at cancer, I'll kick the hell out of you, you. It was right after Halloween, and Dio says he started feeling chest pains. He thought it was acid indigestion that just wouldn't go away. But soon came the diagnosis, and now comes the trips. Here to MD Anderson Cancer Center every two weeks for chemotherapy. This hospital is the best in the world. Uh, we did a lot of what he did a lot of research in hospitals. Ronnie's a very feisty person, and he doesn't take uh, he doesn't he's taken it very much in his stride. You know, obviously we were a little despondent in the beginning, but now he's he's just ready to kick it. That's all he wants to do is kick it and get on with his life. Getting on with his life means flying in from L.A., going through the chemo, and then flying back home. Sometimes band members like bass player Geezer Butler comes for support. Geezer said, I want to go through what Ronnie's going through. I want to be here for, for, for that. But Wendy Dio is always with him. The treatment seems to be working. She says the tumor in his stomach is getting smaller. All of this in a man with a very big voice. You can call it heavy metal or rock and roll. Though Dio calls this experience something to roll with. I refuse to be beaten in any way, shape, or form, so I'm going to beat this too. And we wish him the best of luck. Dio hopes the chemo can be stopped next month, and then he hopes to do what he does best, and that's go back on tour. We'll keep you posted on his condition. Steve Simon, 39 News.